السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یم باوی لی جلا لی وجہ کا بعظیم سلطان الحمد للہ اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و بما رزقتنا و حدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان ولک الحمد بل اسلام ولک الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الاقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی ربی زدنا علما اللہم فکیحنا فی الدین اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا وعملا متقبلا ورزقا طيبا اللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا إله إلا الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد So inshallah today we are going to uh, talk about uh, Ajwaf in family one in Mujarrad and before we do that we need to review a bit our uh, uh, last uh, that was uh, family 8 right so in family 8 what is the rule basically what one rule uh, uh, were we were missing and that's why we were kind of confused what was that uh, that whenever we apply rule number one what, what was rule number one that uh, when weak letter is mutaharik and the letter before has fatha uh, then what happened the letter of and uh, uh, letter after it neither has kun or mad then this weak letter will change into alif right remember this uh, rule So this is how ikhtara become. It was uh, basically ikhtara ba. Ikhtara ba, right? And uh, it should be uh, ikhtayara. Ikhtayara. But what is the rule number one? That uh, if the weak letter, which is waw or ya, it, uh, if it has fatha, uh, not fatha any uh, haraka, it can be uh, fatha dhamma or kasra. So if the weak letter is mutaharik and the letter before has fatha, not nothing else, not kasra, not dhamma, just fatha. And the letter after it is neither a skun nor a mad. Then what's going to happen? This weak letter, ya or wow, whatever it is, it will change into alif because of this fatha. Right? So this is how it become ikhtara. And we applied it in active, right? This is past active. This is past and active. So when we apply this rule in past active, then in past passive, what we need to do? This is what we need to understand. Now in Madi Majhul, this weak letter will become silent. And when it becomes silent, then we have two options. So the uh, thing is, it's... Uh, it should be ukturiba right so it should be uk tu ri ba right this is how it should be ukturiba and when we put on this uh, family it will it should be 
Uh tu ira. Uh tu yi. Uh tu ira. So now, according to this rule, what is going to happen? This uh, ya, the weak letter, will become silent. So if it becomes silent, it doesn't have kasra. So then we have two options. What are the two options? The first option is that since we have oo sound over here, so according to this oo sound, we can change this vowel. So oo like what? Dhamma, right? So it will become uh tura. Uh tura. This is one option. The second option is that uh, instead of we are uh, going uh, with this uh, harika, we are going to go with the vowel itself. So vowel is what? Ya, right? And ya likes what? Kasra, right? So according to that, we are going to change this u sound into e sound. So let me write. So according to this now, we are, uh, since uh, this is ya, and ya like kasra, right? So we are going to give this kasra, and we are going to cancel this u sound. And according to when we do that, it will become ukhtira, right? So these are the two options. So when we, uh, what's gonna happen one more time? When we apply um, in our active, past active, the rule number one, which is that uh, uh, the weak letter is changing into fatha because the, there was a fatha before it, right? When we apply this rule, then we have two options uh, when uh, we are on past uh, passive. In past passive, uh, either we can change it according to the uh, letter, uh, the, weak, the weak letter, whatever the letter before it, we are going to change accordingly. If it was uh, ta, uh, it, if it was fatha, we can uh, change into alif. If it, if it is kasra, it can change into ya. And if it is uh, u sound, then it is going to change into wa. Because, wow, this is one option. Second option is that uh, we are not uh, taking care of uh, the letter before, rather we are going with the weak letter. If weak letter is ya and ya like kasra, so we are going to change uh, uh, the haraka of the previous uh, letter into kasra. And if uh, it was uh, wow, so then we are going to change into dhamma. So this is how it's going to uh, work. And uh, this is how we got uh, in our uh, madi, madi majhul. So uhtira and then yuhtaru ikhtiyaran fahuwa muhtarun. Al amru minhu ikhtar wa nahi anhu la takhtar and zarf minhu muhtarun. So now we have three muhtarun. So isam file, isam maful, and zarf. All three are same. So everyone is clear on that. Last time uh, we did the rest of it, the only the thing uh, we were confused was. Uh, that uh, past passive, right? So everyone is good with it, um, with this uh, conjugation. <clears throat> sort of. Sort of? <laughs> okay. So we have, uh, this is uh, uh, Sarf Kabir. So let's see that what's going on over here. 
So first, uh, this is uh, active. So in uh, active, it will be Uktara. And uh, you guys know, can you, uh, who can explain how it become Uktara? Sorry, Iktara. So this is Iktaraba family, right? Who can explain how it become Iktaraba, right? And Iktaraba, when we bring to this uh, family, it should be what? Since root letter is Kha, Ya, and Ra. These are the root letter, right? And now we are going to put into family it. So what it will become? Ich. Ich ta sister. Very oh, good. So it will become ich ta ya ra. Everyone got it? How it is become ich ta ya ra? And now yes, ich ta ya ra, what rule we are going to apply here? Um, because the ya is a root, root letter, uh, sorry, the weak letter, you will drop the ya and the fat because it has a fatha on it. And sorry, and the previous um, ta has a fatha on it. You will pair it with the. Uh, you will pair it with the likely vowel, the same mm -hmm. vowel, not likely vowel. Mm -hmm. So it will be mm -hmm. alif. Then mm -hmm. it will become ikhtar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else can uh, say this rule? Because this rule is important. So who else want to say this rule? What is the rule number one? How it is become iktaro? So same thing, Sister Aslam. Same one. thing what uh, Sakib just told that uh, in this one, Ajwa, like when it is um, the like iktaro. So Alif is not actually, it's uh, either ya or wow. Here it is ya. So ya is the rule number one is ya is changing to alif. So that's how ikhtara become ikhtara. No, I want to hear the rule that I taught you guys. What was the rule? Mm -hmm. and when a wow and ya has a haraka and the oh, letter yeah. before it has a fatha. Mm -hmm. And the letter, and the letter after, after it has a sakin. Not Saki, neither mm -hmm. Saki nor neither mad. Saki nor Mad, yes. Neither Saki nor Mad, then the wa becomes Alif. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. This is what I wanna hear. Okay. So this is basically the rule. We need to uh, kind of memorize it because uh, that's gonna happen a lot, right? So we need to remember this rule. Okay, who else? One more time. What is the rule number one? Sakib is done, Sister Zora is done, Meher is done. Who else is there? Ali, are you there? Ali, ke to awaz hi nikalne, ha? Aankhe hi ni khulti hai. Okay, so... Uh, okay, uh, uh, so uh, we're gonna move on now. So, Iktara, and uh, okay, who gonna say the whole conjugation of Madi? Um, I can say. Sorry. Okay, I go ahead. Try. Maher. I'm go seeing ahead. your screen too, so it's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iktara, okay. Iktara, Iktaru, Iktarat. Ikhtarata, ikhtarna, ikhtarna. Here a leaf is going away. Ikhtarna. Ikhtarta, ikhtartuma, ikhtartum, ikhtarti, ikhtartuma, ikhtartunna. Ikhtartu, ikhtarna. Very good. Okay, now is everyone clear how it become ikhtarna? When it yeah, comes here to it is tricky. Yeah, this one is hunna is tricky mm. okay hunna always change gonna come and after that it is easy right so yeah, yeah. yeah what should be the actual word Ikhtarna. yeah with the alif right so it with should alif, be yeah. Ikhtarna. right so Ikhtara, and then we need to add noon of Nunu Niswa, right? 
and no no niswa want words spoon over here yeah so what happened now you can't pronounce you got two seconds yeah iltakai sakinain right ishtamai sakinain two spoons got together hmm so that's why we need to drop this alif right and this is how it become ikhtarna right clear yeah, yeah. So ikhtarna, and then after that we know just we add ta to ma tum, ti to ma tunna, tu and na, and that's all, hmm. right? Ah, uh, sister, ah, sorry. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, though I know this one, I just memorize right now. But the thing is, why um there are okay, there is a sukun on uh, uh ra, mm -hmm. so um, so. Why we are removing the we can say star no then same because, way like um, a big alif. Okay, what uh, what the um haraka on alif? alif. What is the haraka on alif? Is it fatha, damma, kasra, or spoon? Sukun. I think spoon. Sukun, right? Oh, okay. Spoon. When when there is no letter, it means spoon, right? And hmm. when two letters, two letters, they have spoon and they are side by side, oh, they it. cannot yeah. be together. Yeah, because got they it. cannot pronounce them, right? Yeah, yeah. I just... Yeah. So this is the rule um, in uh, conjugation that uh, two mm -hmm. scones cannot be together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just confused. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is how it become ekhtarna. Okay, then uh, in uh, uh, Madi, uh, Majhul, now uh, I just explained, right? How it become Ukhtira. So who can repeat me? What happened over here? What rules we are applying in Madi, Majhul? So Ukhtira, how it become Ukhtira? I can try, sister, but I'm not sure. Okay, go ahead, Sakib. So, um, so you need O, o and E sound. What is this disturbance? Yeah, okay, go ahead, Sakib. Okay, I'll try it, sister. Um, so you need O and uh, E sound. I think it's from your side, right? Yeah, I'll mute myself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You you can check your mic. What's wrong there? Uh, sure, and yeah. yeah, Sister Zora, can you do that, please? What happened yeah. over here? Uktira, how it become Uktira? And because what two uh, options we have? Yeah, Majhul needs um, U and E. Mm -hmm. So when there's a when the weak letter has a haraka, mm -hmm. and before that. There's a haraka, um, mm -hmm. and because it's t, t like e likes ya, yeah, so mm -hmm. it becomes ikhtira. <laughs> made, okay. it, made it easy. Okay, okay, one yes. more time. One more time. When yeah. we we uh, when we apply this mm -hmm. uh, 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 fatha rule, rule number one in mm -hmm. Madi. Then in Majhul, what's gonna happen? This uh, Sakin letter will mm -hmm. become silent. Why? Because uh, what happened over here? It is kind of silent over here, right? Mm -hmm. In Madi, it is silent. So in Majhul, it wanna remain silent. So when it is silent, then what happened? Uh, actually, it should be what? Uh, uh, turiba, uh, tu yira, right? Mm. Uh, tu yira. And now, uh, uh, just simply we know that, okay, we need u e sound, right? And so that's why we are changing uh, tira, if that works uh, well and good. But we should know actually what's going on, right? So even though Uhtura, this option, uh, it's not mentioned in Bayana, but uh, in uh, grammar book, in conjugation book, if you see, you, you can find this option too. 
So the grammarian are saying that basically uh, what happened in this weak letter, when it is madhi majhul, it is silent. So when it is silent, then we have two options. Either we can just listen to this uh, harika, whatever is letter before the weak letter was. Okay, so uh, if it was uh, U sound, according to uh, that, we can change uh, this ya, this uh, weak letter into wow, and it will become uhtura, right? And the second option is that uh, uh, we are going to look at this weak letter, which is ya, and ya like what? Kasra, right? Yeah. So instead of this u sound we are going to change this u sound into e because of this ya and it will become uktira okay so this is how it works so um, by next class you guys are gonna kind of memorize these rules because these are important okay you will see so many uh, fail in Qurani park uh, having this uh, pattern, so we should know what's going on. So now, mm -hmm. who can do the Madi Majhul for us? So, Uktira. Should I read, sister? Yeah, go ahead. Uktira. Hmm. Uktira. 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 It's a passive is really, I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't come out on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, <so> because <laughs> these OE sounds are kind of hard. Okay, yeah. but we are clear that, uh, on the conjugation, right? Yeah. It's same like ik, <clears throat> at hunna, ikhtarna, and uh, majhul would be ukhtirna, mm. right? And then after that, uh, everything is uh, easy. Okay, then we have uh, uh, Mudarya uh, Malum, which will be Yaktaru, which was ac actually it was uh, Yaktarabu, right? So Yaktayaru. Yaktayaru, right? So what rule has ap uh, applied over here? What rule has been applied over here? Same the alif. This is the first rule. Alif, alif. First rule. Yeah. Yeah. The, the alif vowel is okay. replaced by an alif. alif. Yeah, exactly. So yaktaru, yaktarani, yaktaruna. Taktaru, taktarani, and yaktarna. So same rule like uh, in Hunna we did, right? Iktarna, and yeah. that is yaktarna. And then Taktaru, Taktarani, Taktaruna, Taktarina, Taktarani, and Taktarna. So Yaktarna, Taktarna. Right? Mm -hmm. This is how Hunna yeah. and Hunna work. And then Aktaru, Naktaru. Uh, and then Majhul would be Yuktaru, Yuktarani, Yuktaruna, Tuktaru, Tuktarani, Yuk. Tukhtaru, Tukhtarani, Tukhtaruna, Tukhtarina, Tukhtarani, and Tukhtarna. Tukhtaru, Nukhtaru. Right? And then Amar is Ikhtar. How it become Ikhtar? Um, from Tukhtaru, the you have to make it light. So it becomes tahtar. Um, tahtar. So again, you have iltiqai sakinain with the alif and mm -hmm. ra with the sukun. Mm -hmm. So you drop the alif, becomes mm -hmm. tahtar. Mm -hmm. And then for amr, you drop the alamatu mudariya, which is ta in this case. Um, mm -hmm. 
and you can't pronounce it with the first letter being sukun on kha so you add mm-hmm. the helper alif mm-hmm. um and uh, ain kalima is the um, is not dhamma so you add a kasra on the helper alif so very ikhtar very good very good alhamdulillah so ikhtar and then ikhtara ikhtaru ikhtari ikhtara and ikhtarna hunna ikhtarna uh, sorry uh, uh, antunna okay then we have uh, nahi la takhtar la takhtara la takhtaru la takhtari la takhtara and la takhturna tarna sorry la takhtarna so that was family 8 and uh, now let's see so uh, rule number 1 we are aware of it right alhamdulillah that is easy rule number 2 what was rule number 2 that if the weak letter is sakin then weak letter will give its harika to the letter before it right because uh, we say qala uh, yaqulu what family is it qala yaqulu nasra family nasra family yeah yes so this is nasra clan right so nasra clan so uh, it should be qawala actually right qawala yaqulu right yan suru yak wu lu right and now yan suru uh mm-hmm. yak wu lu so what, what's going on over here what happened how it is become yak wu lu so here it is um the dhamma because it has wow is going on kaf right yak wu lu wala yak wu lu why it's going there um but the rule behind it because it has a sakin uh, it transfers this goes there the exactly so, the, 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 so whenever weak letter is mutaharrik whenever <laughs> weak letter is mutaharrik and the letter before is sakin then this weak letter will transfer its harika to the sakin letter mm-hmm. it's being generous because that is sakin cannot speak so he is giving his voice to it mm-hmm. okay so when he give his voice to it so what happen it become yaqulu mm-hmm. right and if uh, in some case uh, you see that okay there is uh, there is wow already <clears throat> so they were compatible but if uh, sometimes the uh, harika is transferred and the then the weak letter is not compatible with this harika then what going to happen it is going to change accordingly mm-hmm. this weak letter will change according to the harika okay mm-hmm. so this is uh, this is rule number 2 that whenever there is a, a weak letter which is mutaharrik and the letter before is sakin then it is going to give its um, harika to this uh, uh, sakin letter uh and now this is the same pa- uh, third rule that we just did so basically this is how so we know how qawala become qala and then in um, uh, majhul it is kuvila right in uh, this is past uh, passive uh, so kuvila now Uh, what happen over here since this is uh, 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 it is kasra right so mm-hmm. what going to happen over here that either it is going to change according to this uh, fatha we, because it is uh, we have changed uh, in uh, our active this vowel into alif right so when we apply this rule so then in majhul this weak letter is uh, become sakin by itself so when it is sakin uh, then basically this is uh, kula 
So one option is that this word is Kula. Uh, it become Kula in Madi Majhul. The second option is that uh, uh, since this is already uh, Sakin uh, and uh, it has, uh, uh, before it has Kasra, right? So it is going to Uh, change according to uh, the weak letter. According to the sound that it has, right? So it has uh, kasra. So uh, uh, this vow will change according to the uh, uh, according to the sound, and it become kila. Did you guys get it? What I'm trying to say? So basically, it should be kuvila, right? Ku -vi -la. When we just make regular, uh, we are trying to make passive, right? So that should be kuvila. So one option is we, uh, since we applied the rule number one already. So this is uh, sakin, obviously. And if it is sakin, then it is kula. That can be the one option. The other option is that uh, since this vow has a kasra, so this kasra is going to transfer over here, right? And mm. uh, then this vowel is uh, basically changing according to this kasra now because uh, kasra and uh, vow will not go together. So it become kila. Then uh, the same thing is applied over here in uh, Baya. Baya, uh, this is uh, um, uh, this rule basically apply in both uh, uh, Ajwaf Wavi and Yai. So that is that was the example of Wavi, and now this is uh, Yai. So Baya, so again it has Fatha, so it changed into Baa, right? And now since we all, uh, applied this rule over here, so uh, in uh, uh, Majhul, Bu Yi A and this Ya basically is Kun, right? It's, it is silent now. So now the one option is that according to this uh, U sound, we change into Bu A, right? That could be one option. And the other option is that uh, according to uh, this uh, uh, we are going to uh, this kasra is basically transferring over here and that is be uh, becoming b r and that is going to apply in family one and eight only clear make sense so in Quran, uh, strat both are used or which, uh, I mean, it's like um, when we read like second option is more like it makes B-R is. Yeah, but because B -R uh, I don't know if it is in the Quran or not. Yeah, we. I need to check. I'm not sure, but uh, this is how uh, I find in the grammar. In the grammar. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I remember the word B-R is in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, we are talking about this other option, this like one, yeah. Kula, Bua. So we need to check if uh, these are used in the Quran Park or not. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, because the second one is easy, like it makes sense. Okay, then yeah, you just, you just yeah, bring because the, yeah. we are used to it, right? We know that Ui uh, sound is uh, uh, Majhul, right? So that's why yeah. it makes more sense to us. Sister, okay. Yeah. How does the uh, I didn't understand how does the how does it become a kila? To you, mind I, repeating one more time, please. Okay. So basically, it was kuvila, right? We yeah. know we need u and e sound, right? In uh, majhul. So kuvila. So what happened over here? It has kasra over here. So. It, uh, it has transferred its kasra over there, right? So when kasra is transferred over here, now it has uh, uh, kasra over here, and this one has spoon. 
So when it has spoon, it it should it would be kivla. It doesn't make sense, right? And it's not very smooth. So according to this uh, kasra, it has changed into ya, kila. Okay, so it's just for fluency, it's changed wow yeah. to ya? Yes. Okay. That's what all we are doing. Mm -hmm. Sister, and what is this? One, one family, one and family eight, sister. Which example? Can you, one eight? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it, that gonna happen that rule basically apply to family one and family eight in uh, um, uh, Madi Majhul. Okay, okay, got On, it. Not other, mm -hmm. uh, we cannot apply this rule in anywhere else, but only mm -hmm. in family one and eight, in and Madi Madi. only in past passive. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, so now. Ajwa uh, Fawi, basically, uh, it says that uh, it comes only in three babs. Bab Nasara, Bab Samia, and Bab Karuma. And 75% is Bab Nasara. So whenever we have Ajwa Fawi, so very, very first thing to think about is uh, uh, about Bab Nasara. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So 75% is Bab Nasara and the rest is the, the other two, Bab Samia and Bab Karuma. And uh, what is not uh, mentioned, Bab Daraba and Bab Fataha. So Ajwa Fuwavi does not exist in Daraba and uh, Fataha clans. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and then Bab Samia. Okay, what we are trying to so basically, okay, so in uh, Ajwa Fiyai, uh, Bab Daraba, we can find. Okay, and in all we say, see that uh, Kavala is becoming Kala, Khavifa become Khafa, Tavula become Tala. So basically, in all uh, Ajwa Fiyai, uh, 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 it is changing into Fatha. So Kala Yakulu Kaulan and then Kavilun. So actually, it should be Kavilun, right? But uh, in Ajwa, what's going on? This Vau or Ya, whatever uh, weak letter would be, it will change into Hamza. So it is always going to be on the pattern of Qailun. Right? It is easy, Alhamdulillah. Then Kuvila become Kila and Kula and Yakulu become Yukala and then uh, Maf'ul, it should be Maqwulun. Right? Maf'ulun, Maqwulun. But it is not going to be Maqwulun. Uh, because uh, yeah, the two scones are uh, getting together. What rule we are uh, applying over here in Makwulun? Why it is become Makwulun here? The Sakinin. Yes, because wow, weak letter is wow, right? And it is Mutaharik. And the letter before is Sakin, right? So it is transferring its uh, yeah, Dhamma to this calf. And now we have Maku and this one is now Spoon. And two Spoons are uh, getting together. So Ishtamai Sakinaini is happening. So that's why we're gonna drop one bow and uh, that will become Makulun. Okay, and then uh, as I said, that is some file is always whatever weak letter is it is it is always going to change into Hamza. So yeah, that will become Qailun. That we need to memorize. There is no logic behind that for some file like it yeah. becomes. Yeah. So whatever weak letter is basically it is changing into Hamza. That's all. 
Okay, clear so far. I know it so is only in uh, Nasra families uh, that become Hamza or in other families too. In all Ajwaf. In all, all Ajwaf. In all Ajwaf it is happening. Not only in Nasra. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so now uh, this is uh, Sarf Kabir for um, Bab Nasara and oh. the verb is Kala. So who can do that for me? I can do it. It's an easy one. <laughs> the easiest <laughs> one. So I can take it. <laughs> Go ahead. Kala, Kala, Kalu, Kalat, Kalata, Kulna. Kult, now it's easy. Kulta, Kultuma, Kultum, Kulti, Kultuma, Kultuna, Kultu, Kulna. How it, it become Kulna here? So here again, um, Kun, it should be uh, again a calf, wow, lam, and noon. It will be if you write. So <laughs> it is kal, right? Yeah, it's and kala, then, and then like, we need nuno niswa, right? Yeah, so nuno niswa wants spoon. Yeah, and now we have uh, in uh, alif, we have spoon, right? Right, yeah, so we can't... Uh, and we... one thing we need to remember, this is Kala. Right? So mm. it should be Kalna. Why Kulna? Um, why it, it should is... be Kalna, Because right? it's from Nasara family. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So since this is Bab Nasara, so that's why instead of Kalna, it will take U sound. Okay, so it will become pulna. Also, I heard there's another way of um, with this ajwaf when you have kala ya kulu or khafa ya. Yeah, kala ya kulu. When in mudaria it has a wow, then with hunna mm -hmm. it's always a dhamma. Is that correct, sister? I'm just asking. Yes, yes, it is. I think that logic applies. And this is, as, this is yeah. yeah, this is again because this is Bab Nasara. So that's why they are uh, giving kind of a clue because, you know, letter is already dropped, right? So weak yeah. letter is already dropped. So just to give a marker that uh, this is Bab Nasara, so they, it changed into uh, Dhamma because that is the marker of Bab Nasara. Yeah. Okay, so this is so, how it becomes Pulna, yeah. With uh, Tala, you said that is a Karma family. So when it comes to Tala, it will be Tulna as well here. Karuma, yeah, it should be Tulna, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that is, and now Kila, everyone is good how it is become Kila? In mm -hmm. Madi Majhur, how it become big kila? Uh, yeah, um, I won't be able to explain the rule, but I know that uh, <laughs> <laughs> kala. So one is that uh, uh, you put the dhamma and ka and wow is there, and another way is that the you change it to. Uh, uh, ka because yeah, put the because kasra it, and put the ya because they are friend. Kasra and ya is friend, and exactly. dama and wow is friend. So this is the second option when we are bringing ya kasra. Yeah. So basically, just understand that uh, we need u e sound, right? U e la. So this is how it should be. Uh, but what we are doing over here, we are just transferring the haraka. Because uh, basically, uh, it's supposed to be uh, sakin over here, according to the what rule we were learning, right? So this uh, weak letter should be sakin over here. And uh, it is basically transferring its uh, harika over here. Or we can just understand that since it is kasra, I said we have two options, right? One option is uh, uh, that uh, we are... Uh, According to this vow, let me write again. So basically, it was uh, Kuvila, right? 
So either we can just listen to this uh, uh, sound hmm. and we just say kula. The other option is that we listen to this sound, weak letters Zaharika, and we go accordingly. And since Kasra like uh, uh, yeah, because uh, when we are going to transfer that, uh, it, it would be Kivla, which does not make sense, right? So that's mm -hmm. why. We are Kila. changing according to the sound and it become Kila. Kila, Kila. Okay. So basically mm. we are listening to uh, the Haraka over here. So this Haraka is uh, Kasra and accordingly we are changing everything. Uh, um, we are changing that into Ya. Yeah. So it become Kila. Then Kila, Kila, and Kilu, Kilat, Kilata, and Kilna. Right? So over here it was Kulna, and now Majhul should be Kilna. Right? Then uh, rest is easy. Kilta, Kiltuma, Kiltum, Kilti, Kiltuma, Kiltuna, Kiltu, and Kilna. Then Yakulu. That was actually, and uh, what was uh, the actual uh, word? Yansuru, Yakulu, right? Yeah. yeah. So Yakulu become Yakulu, Yakulani, Yakuluna, then Takulu, Takulani, and then Yakulna. Same thing, Iltakaisa yeah. is happening over here. Then Takulu, Takulani, Takuluna, Takulina, Takulani, Takulna. And akulu and akulu. Mm. Okay. Then majhul. Who wanna do majhul? Okay. Um, which majhul are we doing? Madari majhul or mazi majhul? Madari. Okay. Open. Yeah. So yukalu. So it's yukalu, yukalani, yukaluna. And so here to Kalu, to Kalani, and Hulna Yukalna, and Anta to Kalu, and Tuma to Kalani, and Tum to Kaluna, Anti to Kalina, and Tuma to Kalani, and Tuna to Lakna, and to Kalu to Kalna, sorry, the lamb has a sukun, right? To Kalna, and it's Anna Kalu Nahno Kalu. Yeah, very good. Very good. And then Amar, how it become full? Oh, yeah, I can explain. Um, so hmm. you so go it, to Yakulu. Yakulu. Hmm? Yakulu. Yeah. Takulu. Yeah. Takulu. Then you say Takul. Mm -hmm. And then um, you make that one Sukun. Yeah. And then you remove the Ta. So hmm. it's Kul. Cool. So now so we have double sukun is on lam yeah, and so the wow. So then wow has to be disappeared. So cool. Very good. Yeah. So it's easy. Alhamdulillah. So cool. And but we see that uh, wow is coming back because it was takulani, right? So we mm -hmm. drop this, we drop this. And the rest we need, don't have to do anything, right? So it will be Kula. Oh, basically, uh, sorry, it should be over here. So it is Kula, right? And then Kulu, same thing. And then Kuli, same thing. So everything is easy, just we are dropping beginning and ending, right? And then Takulna. Is cool now. So Alhamdulillah, that is complete making sense now. La it would be la takul, la takula, la takulu, la takuli, la takula, and la takulna. And zarf is makalun. So makalun, zarf, what should be the zarf actually? What is what should be the pattern? Makulu. Makhlubun. Yes. Yeah. Makwulun, right? Makwulun. Yeah. And now what happened? We did that, right? So we are transferring uh, 
in the haraka because it has kun over here, right? Yeah, yeah, and this yeah. one is mataharik. So uh, the transferring happening over here, and then uh, it it has kun now, right? Because it has transferred its haraka. So now two skuns. Mm -hmm. So basically, it is it become makulun, and then. The alif is coming on that. Mm -hmm. uh, this yeah. is uh, for uh, ism maful. Yeah, we are doing ism maful. Okay, so is uh, what what is the pattern of zarf? Makalun, makilun. Man. So do makawalun. Um, man sarun. Man sarun, right? Man sarun, yeah. man sirun, man saratun. Ha. Huh. So mak uh, man sarun. Makwalun, not makwulun. Mm. That would, would be some of food. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that was no food. So, so mans, mansarun, makwalun. Makwalun. Oh, now we can see. Makwalun. Right. So mm. again, it is transferring the haraka and it became uh, alif over here. So this this is how it become makalun. Hmm. So maqalun, maqalani, and plural is maqavilun. This is so broken. here the wow is becoming um, alif, right? Where? Kalun. So wow is giving the harka to ka, and then it's uh, turning into alif. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then this is broken pluralism, maqavilu, maqavilu. So this is partly flexible, right? So that's why it's not taking um, uh, tanween. So maqalan, maqalaini, maqavila, maqalin, maqalaini, and maqavilun. So what would be the meaning of ma uh, maqalun? The place where the speech is made. Yeah, place and time. Mm -hmm. So place and time. So Sister Zohra, you were other day asking about it. So let's do, uh, if I say Kala, what does that mean? That's a mazi, he said. He said. And yeah. uh, when I say Yakulu, how are we going to translate? He says. He says. Is. is okay now kila it's a majhul hmm. so it was said it was said it was said very good and yukalu it is said it is said it is, it is being said. said it is being, it is being said yeah. yes being yeah said. that's right i'm always confused on madhi majhul uh, sorry yeah. present uh, majhul it is being said yeah. Okay. And mm. then pull rest we know it's easy. Pull. Yeah. Is command. La takul. Do not say it. And mm. then makalun. As we said that uh, this is time and place of uh, uh, saying something. Like mm. someone is uh, giving some khutbah. So that time and place is uh, uh, makalun. Right. Okay, then uh, now Ajwa Fiyai is here. So Ajwa Fiyai, one example is Baya, which become Baa, Baa ya Bio, Bayan, Fahua Baiun. So see that in Ajwa Fiyai, even yeah, this is changing into, yeah, so Baiun. And then B A U B A U. So B A uh, again we have uh, either it B A or B A. Yeah, same thing. Okay. And then U B A U, which was U D R I B U, and U B Y U, right? U B Y U. So what happened over here? U B Y U. So this has uh, uh, harika, right? And the letter before is uh, sakin. So it is going to transfer its harika to the sakin letter. 
and mm-hmm. now it has uh, kasra so it become ub ubo no sorry uh, so it transfer it kasra over here so ubo mm, what we are talking yudribu So it become yuba or the kasra become fatha, right? Okay, so yudribu, yudribu is yubyo. Let me write over here. Yub yo. Right? Yubyo, yudribu. So now what's going on over here? Uh, that is sakin, so it is going to transfer its uh, harika over here, right? So it become U B O. So it it is making sense, but uh, no. how... it's the same like sister. Some of the uh, like, sound kafa kafa yeah. is not following the exactly like it is. And pattern of kafa, kafa, yeah. yeah, yeah, because we in, again yeah, it is uh, ua sound, right? In uh, uh, right, so it will become yeah, it's a daraba family. So. Daraba oh, this is daraba yadribu. Yeah, okay. yadribu. Now I got yeah. it. Now I yeah. got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, why it is becoming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So now you be o. That was uh, actually it become when we transfer the kasra. But mm-hmm. since uh, uh, this is bab daraba in daraba, uh, it is going to take uh, uh, fatha over here. Daraba yadribu. Yeah. Daraba yadribu. Hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. You be. So look like uh, again, since uh, we need a sound, so that's why we are uh, kind of uh, transferring, uh, uh, making it into a leaf accordingly, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I, need to, I need to check it again, I don't know. Okay, so bi'a yuba'u bay'an fahua mubi'un. Mabi'un. Sorry, Mabion, yeah. So Mabion is, uh, 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 that is, is a fool, right? So what should be actually, it should be Mabion, yeah. right? Mabion. So again, it is uh, transferring it, uh, the ma over here because the letter is Sakin. So it will become mab. And then even we cannot uh, pronounce it because it has spoon now, right? So uh, because of that, basically, uh, that is uh, going to uh, change according to uh, this yeah then, right? So this is how it is become mabi on. So basically, that was. Uh, Mabu, it, it, it has spoon, right? Mubu, mubu, so you, we cannot even uh, say it properly, right? So mm-hmm. that's why, according to this ya, it is going to change into kasra. So this is how it become mabi on. And then uh, it says that. Uh, Mahulun patterns uh, in Ajwaf Wavi, it will be on the pattern of Mazidun. 
Okay. Uh, no, sorry. In uh, Ajwa Fuwa, uh, it is uh, Isam of Fool is on the pattern of Makulun. And in Yai, it is on the pattern of Mazidun. So Mabi on is on mm. the pattern of what? Mazidun, because this is as well, Yai. Okay, yeah. Okay, so mm. we, we, we can remember this word in Ajwaf Yavi, mm. Yai. We always say Isam of Fool is going to be on the pattern of Mazidun, Mabi on. Mm. And uh, in uh, Wavi, it is on the pattern of Makulun. Mafulun become Makulun. Mm. And Mafulun become Mazidun in Yai. Basically, this is what it is saying. Oh, so it's like Jaa, Yaji, Maji, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so actually. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a hard to memorize. <laughs> Brain is hurting. <laughs> like we have to memorize a lot. Otherwise, and I'm messing up with uh, like so many rules. Um, Ajwa, yeah, we can memorize the main patterns hmm. because we cannot memorize every uh, verb, right? Yeah, so mean we need to just a uh, few pattern we can keep in our mind and the rest we need to make the, the rules should make sense to us that this is the rule applied so inshallah, uh, inshallah. That is easy yeah, but uh, sometimes like just uh, for example ja ya uh, mm -hmm. so it becomes darba family but when it comes to khafa ya khafu so this becomes Fataha or Samia, but like then. So again, <laughs> these are the rules. Because of these rules, we are learning today, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it is changing into Alif. So basically, again, the rule, we should remember that this is the rule. And that's why it is happening. So now, uh, Ajwaf uh, Yai over here, and this is Babdaraba. So ba'a, ba'a, ba'u, ba'at, ba'ata, and then bi'na. Yeah. How it is become bi'na? So again, iltagai sakinen happening over here, right? Everyone is good be with bi'na, how it is happening? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is basically ba'a plus uh, nun, nun, nun niswa and uh, now then we give scone to ayin so now two scones are together and we are dropping a leaf so this is how it become be now and so then here the root letter is ba ba um, ba ya ayin yeah and yeah. so ba ya ayin change so that's to, why it is be okay. yeah so ba ya ayin and since it has uh, hmm. the mutahari, uh, ya is mutaharik, right? And the letter before has fatha, and then le letter after does not have any uh, uh, skoon or mud. So that's why this ya hmm. is into a leaf. So that rule is applied over here. So ba'a, and then uh, we, with no nuniswa when we are adding over here. Yeah, yeah, it's a clear. Yeah, so this is how it become be now. And then ba'a uh, in majhul uh, uh, it will become bi'a, right? So daraba yadri. Uh, so this is duriba basically, right? This is duriba. So duriba. What should be the actual word then? Bu ya. Bu ya. Bu ya. Ah, mm -hmm. right. So now what happened? We see that uh, it has, this is mutaharik, but the letter before is not fatha. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's why we cannot apply that rule over here. That uh, it be, uh, it becoming into uh, alif, right? So 
so what what is happening according to this ya uh, uh, that uh, the harika is transferred and it is going uh, to on ba and it become ba basically duriba become ba and then b a b u b a t b a t a and b n a uh okay then uh what else is important over here so ya b u and then ya b n a again iltaka is sakina and mm. is over yeah. and then majhul is uh, y b a u so this fatha rule is applied over here this is how it become you ba mm-hmm. and then you ba na and uh, uh, amar become bi how it become bi so this is the bi o right so uh, we give sukoon over here we drop uh, ta over here and this is how it remain right and we drop this uh, uh iltaka is sakin and happening right so we will drop the yeah so now we have b only yeah. right and yeah. then zarf is uh, maba'un so this is uh, but uh, this is bab daraba so um that should be madribun right zarf is madrabun madra madra madrabun yeah zarf should be uh, yeah, madra madra. is madrabun yeah right? ma fu ma fu zarf is madrabun madrib madrabun madribun madrabun yeah <clears throat> so madrabun uh, when we bring on this pattern it will be mab yaun mab yaun mab yaun so what's going on uh, it has kun right so it will pass its uh, fatha over here and now it has fatha and according to fatha it will just change into alif right so mm-hmm. that become mabaun mm-hmm. so what would be the uh, mabaun mean what is ba mean to take a bite right to kind of uh, pledge uh, pledge yeah. so mabaun would be the time and uh, place. place of uh, pledge okay then we have uh, uh, nala yanalu so this is uh, bab samia so actually it should be nayala nayala yanyalu so mm-hmm. nayala become nala and yanyalu become yanalu so both are taking alif nala yanalu nailan fa huwa nailun so uh, uh, ya is changing into hamza and then uh, nila how it become nila actually it should be nuyila do uh, this is samia right so sumia sumia nuila uh, but then again uh, what, what, uh, one option is nula and the other option is nila since it was ya right so according to na- uh, ya the uh, transfer happen and now it become nila so nila and then yunalu yunalu actually yunialu right so nun is sakin so this ya has uh, uh, this uh, fatha is transferred right and then according to this fatha alif uh, uh, this ya change into alif so it become yunalu so nila yunalu nailan fa huwa man yulun maf'ulun right man yulun so man yulun be, change into manilun 
how so mm-hmm. money you mm-hmm. loan we see that okay when we transfer it doesn't work because mm-hmm. the, the letters are not compatible so then according to the ya uh, we uh, we give the kasra to the letter and it become money loan so again it is on the pattern of mazidun right so mazidun and uh, uh, amar is null and wa- uh, it is uh, you you uh, it should be yana tanalu right tanalu and yeah, then so tanalu then ta yeah so it become null so la, uh, nal la tanal and then manalun manalatun so only two pattern uh, two pattern of uh, uh, zarf are here so manalun manalatun and then isam ala is minyalun minyalun yeah. which is on the pattern of mifalun salun yeah. minyalun So, so why there is only two zar zarf here because there is no meaning for the other one probably like that. Yeah, hmm. I, I don't look like. Okay. But what, what else they can extract all that? <laughs> We can't pronounce <laughs> also. This... And they, so much is going on with them. So they said decided that only two are good enough. <laughs> <laughs> good for good for us. We won't remember. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, Sishra, Nala, Nala, ya Nalu. Uh, mm-hmm. So it be it can uh, be Samia or Fataha too, right? We can Nala, call it yeah. Fata. Huh? How no, we are it, uh, distinguishing here with it, whether it is Samia only, not Fataha, because did, did, the Mudariya is same and uh, the Madi we say Samia. and fataha is al samia yes mau and that's why it is become nala yanalu so it's not uh, like ba fataha over here fataha yaftahu right yeah no but uh, since this is weak letter that's why it is uh, conjugating like that it is not ba fataha it is ba samia mm-hmm. so ba samia but uh, so this is uh, nala nala we know that uh, actually it is what nayala right mm. so nayala and uh, this fatha rule is applying so that's why it is become nala right and uh, no it should be nayila not uh, nayala samia right yeah that that's why i was yeah. that nayila be... so Nay- no but uh, this week letter whatever haraka it has we need to look this letter if it has fatha then it is going to change into alif right mm. uh-huh. so yeah. if the week letter is mutaharik mutaharik mean it can have fatha kasra or dhamma whatever letter whatever mm. kasra it, uh, sorry haraka it has doesn't matter but the matter is that uh, the letter before has fatha if it has fatha then it is definitely going to change into alif so that's why it is become nala so it's not ba fataha rather it is nayala and the rule is applied and this is how it become nala mm-hmm. and then nala then we have uh, uh, samia yasmau so it should be yan walu right yan walu yes mau mm. right and now since uh, it has uh, fatha so it is mutaharrik and mm. this letter is sakin so yeah, it is no. going to transfer and when it transfer hap- uh, happen happen then vow, vow is not compatible with the fatha right so according to this fatha it has changed into uh, fatha so it become yanalu mm-hmm. 
right so it is not bab fatah uh, fatah rather it is bab samia but these rules are applied over here this is that's why it looks like bab fatah but it is not yeah. so nala then nala nalu and then nalat nalata and the, then it is nilna hmm. it should be nalna right yeah same like palna kala right kala is given the haraka of fat uh, dhamma because it was bab nasara and now this bab samia is given kasra oh, yeah. here because this is bab samia that's why it, the kasra is coming here so here it is clear yeah it's a samia because it's giving kasra yeah okay okay so this is nilna and then even in uh, uh, in our uh, uh, and this is active right uh, active yeah. and the mazul uh, is madi and now it is in uh, even in mudariya malum you see that sami a yes ma u right so according to this yes ma the middle root letter has fatha mm-hmm. that why it is getting fatha over here that's that's yeah yeah okay. makes so that, yeah so this is something uh, uh, particular about this bab samia so but we can't make out you know which family it belongs unless we have a dictionary we so we to- have to say both It is both, and then if we have so much knowledge, like we go all that like Hunna. And... Yeah, we need to check the dictionary always for the word Bab. Is it okay? Yeah. Also, sister, in, initially uh, when we started, you said um, Ajwaf only happens in Nasara, Samia, and Kalifa. So Dorab and Fatah are out of question now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. okay so this is how basically it is uh, uh, working so any pro- uh, do you guys notice anything on you yell in this uh, uh, samia bob for everything is good here no yeah like the changes is taking place in uh, this one hunna and uh, again in mudari also hunna how we have to make out that how to do that mhm right like that's being affected i guess um that's i think yeah so again this is uh, explained over here that when it is bab nasara then uh, hunna uh, even in uh, madi and mudariya in both hunna. in yeah. u sound right so that is that would be kulna and yakulna mm-hmm. and when the uh, bab daraba mm-hmm. it is take kasra mm-hmm. it is the a uh, and yabina and then in bab samia it is taking uh, in madi it is taking kasra and in mudariya it is taking fatha so we need to remember in bab daraba in both madi and mudariya there is kasra but in bab samia uh, since sami a yasmau so in samia it is very particular that uh, in madi it is taking kasra but in mudariya it is taking fatha mm-hmm. and yeah. then uh, yeah then for uh, ism ismut of deel Uh, the vowel behaves normally in is uh, ismut of teel if the word is ajwaf ya vavi the vowel appears in vow uh, appears as vow and if it is ajwaf ya the vowel appears as ya and take a look at this so aqwamu aqwam yeah. is kaf vow and mim right so aqwamu like akbaru or afdalu so is mutaftil over here and we see that uh, 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 the vowel is there aqwamu and then bayana uh, abdanu okay so in is mutaftil it is going to show us that 
uh, if it is ajwa fuwavi or yai and then isam sifa uh, recall the isam sifa follow the pattern of failun right we know that rahimun karimun all these are isam sifa and the ya is part of the container of the word over mm-hmm. here so when this ya meet the vowel in ajwa word the two merge merge and create ya with the shadda on it so qawama will become kayimu qawama become kayimu it should be what uh, did i write somewhere so what should uh, actually it would be failun right so it should be qawimun 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 right yes. so what happened uh, that uh, it, uh, what, what is they are saying that when the, uh, this ya meets the vowel in ajwa word the two merges and create a ya with a shadda so basically they are saying that uh, this uh, weak letter is going to uh, change into ya right and when it is changing into ya and then two ya's are together uh, i think i wrote somewhere the whole thing so when two uh, ya are together we are merging them with shadda so this is how it become kayyimun same is like bayinun layinun okay so we yeah so we need to remember that i think uh, maybe in the side i put it there so no, there's states in the side it's i've i've taken a print out so it's there in the side yeah it, it's print okay so now uh, basically uh, the same observation that we just discussed uh, uh over there uh i just wrote uh in words so uh, you guys can go through it okay then uh, basically the summary of ajwa is that uh, madi vowel so when it is madi vowel drops at now we all uh, aware of it right so in, uh in uh, bab nasara it will uh, take u sound in bab samia and bab daraba in both it is taking kasra we are just talking about in madi and ajwaf yai and ajwaf wabi in both in mudariya a vowel drops at hunna and antunna right you know that yaqulna taqulna mm-hmm. then in majzum uh which could be amar nahi or any form of uh, majum so uh, again the vowel is dropped it will be lam yaqul right so this is how I, basically we all discuss already so alhamdulillah okay and then again it is uh, basically telling the same thing over here so in uh, past present uh, basically when it is if the word is uh, from the uh, nasara family then the past and uh, present both will follow what pattern fala yafulu fala yafulu and uh, in bab daraba it will be fala yafilu and in bab samia it will be fala yafalu so it gonna look like bab fataha fala ya falu but this is actually bab samia and then command is basically full we remember the word full right so and then um and full is when when this is bab nasara if it is bab daraba then it is going to be fill right and uh, and if uh, the word is uh, from samia family the command follows the pattern of fal
okay i i didn't get that part i don't know what uh, they are talking about so note that the uh, vowel is always omit omitted in the majsum form if the fail ends in the ma regardless of the clan so i didn't get it what you, they are talking about sister in mudare you in jamia khala ya ya falu means ya is drop lam with the sukun and alif with the sukun alif is weak letter then it is it will come as fal ya fal ya falu mhm taf alu it will be command means lam with the sukun tafal alif and lam both with the sukun means uh, weak letter will go and it will come as fal no but it, it is saying that uh, um if it ends on if the fail ends on dhamma no, i am telling about yeah, the like, command kulna uh, kulna it doesn't end with yaqulani uh, not kulna kulna is a madhi which is mabni yaqulani no it is saying majzum right so yeah uh, the, no, this is command like yaqul fil ful yaqulu is taqulu right sister so it ends with a dhamma uh-huh. whenever there is a dhamma you make it a majzum it becomes taqul in that case the um weak letter is dropped and becomes taqul which is majzum correct yeah but, but where is taqulna taqulna if you want to make it majzum it it doesn't have a dhamma at the end it remains mabni anyway taqulna 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 <coughs> taqulani mm-hmm. again ends with a kasra Mm-hmm. and when you make it uh, majzum you drop the noon mm-hmm. it becomes taqula you still keeping the vowel which is alif there taqula mm-hmm. um yeah sorry wow you are still mm-hmm. keeping the vowel wow oh. so whenever mm-hmm. does it make sense sister what i'm saying yeah yeah it makes sense now yeah yeah mm-hmm. like like anta it is uh, taqulu antuma yeah. taqulani and antum mm-hmm. uh, antum is taquluna mhm yeah you can see that the dhamma is present only in anta mm-hmm. not in antuma or ant- antum which i just mentioned so mm-hmm. when you make yeah, antu I, I anta thought... majzum yeah yeah i was coming to the same point yeah that's why when i wrote over here but uh, still um, it, it was not getting in my head that why they are saying that it is ending on dhamma so yeah. i did not notice actually it is ending on dhamma but <laughs> yeah we are making it <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> same, same thing for ana ana it is aqulu it ends with a uh, dhamma mm mm-hmm. um because it's ending with dhamma you can notice that you are dropping the vowel akul yeah when you are yeah. making it mazum yeah 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 okay subhanallah sometimes brain kind of get freeze and you don't get through things okay <laughs> so now uh khafa which is actually what is the actual uh, um, like the original form would be khawifa right khauf like khauf no khawafa khawifa this is verb samia right okay mm-hmm. the verb samia it should be actually khawifa we change into khafa so khafa ya khafu right and uh, there is a the problem in uh, again in khifna in hunna it is khifna why because in bab this is bab samia samia yeah that's samia, sure. that's why it is taking and uh, notice that in uh, mudariya it is ya khafna so it is taking fatha over there but taking kasra over here so this is basically about uh, bab samia that uh, in uh, hunna madi it will take kasra and uh, mudariya it will take fatha so we need to remember that 
and uh, rest look fine so you guys are good with the this half a half a half a what would be the uh, meaning of makhuf uh, on sister zora what is makhuf on uh it is like um one who who is scared like the done to like uh, the fear is done to him <laughs> mahfu mahfufun yes it? yeah yeah mahfufun is that zarf zarf and uh... it can be zarf as well as it can be yeah. no no it can't so be zarf yeah. no no mahful it is mahful yeah it is mahful so it's done to mahfufun is uh, yeah. zarf yeah yeah so mahfufun uh, the person who is scared right yeah yeah khaifun no, uh, the one the one who one creates who is... fear khaifun is the one who is feared uh, who is um, who fears oh yes you are right yeah, yeah. there so is some file and this yeah. one makhuli yeah. adan so khaifun the one who is scared and makhufun is uh, the one who um um who creates who... fear who who is receiving the half right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it is a done to person done who to is done, yeah done to oh, yeah, the receiving yeah so yeah. basically yeah. this was makhufun and then it became makhufun right? makhufun yes this is maf'ulun right yeah, yeah. so actually makhufun become makhufun so it's a yeah. maf'ul so done to receiving the half and then mm. makhafun is some uh, zarf so this is time and place of uh, yeah. fear yeah okay so rest is fine oh my goodness okay so now uh, beautiful hadith or dua we all should remember and uh, this is basically allahumma khirli wa khtarli so this is basically Uh, hadith uh, where prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he used to make this dua what is this dua basically uh, we, we know we do istikhara right yeah so uh, if you do not have time for istikhara or you are just doing something very simple and easy and still you want allah's uh, mashwara or you want allah's do, uh, like blessing or allah's help in it so we should make uh, this dua allahumma khirli so khirli uh, meaning that o oh allah you make it good f- uh, for me this is from basically khayara right khayar so khayr is the uh, uh, so uh, allah we are asking khayr in the whatever matter we are going to do waqtarli and you choose uh, good for me right so khirli is uh, amar over here right so khara which is uh, basically khayara so khara ya khiru and this is bab daraba right and then when we go to anta it will be takhiru from takhiru it become khir right so allahumma o oh allah khirli you make it good for me so whatever matter he um, about to do he used to make this dua to allah subhanahu wa taala that oh allah you make good for me in this matter waqtarli and you choose uh, uh, for me like you choose something good for me in this uh, matter so khair should come out of this matter for me basically this is the dua so very small very uh, concise and uh, comprehensive dua so we should uh, make a habit that uh, we we should make this dua one we are reviving one sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam secondly this is beautiful dua right so say three times everyone allahumma khirli wa khtarli Allahumma khirli 
وختارلی وختارلی سو سو ایزی رائٹ اللہ فرلی وختارلی اینڈ وی آر نوٹسنگ اوور ہیئر دیٹ فار دس خار آ یقیرو وٹ پرپوزیشن از فورس ٹو بی یوزڈ لام so whenever you will see this uh, verb you will see lam uh, preposition going with it mm-hmm. okay so we, uh, now we should uh, start thinking and start uh, noticing that uh, what take, take what preposition this is really important yeah. mm-hmm. so yeah. allahumma khirli waqtarli allahumma khirli waqtarli So, so so both are right? from different family right sister uh, the first no. one is uh, yeah from different family yes. like this so one is karaba is... and this one is some yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly so this is mujarra and this is family it so that one is changing the meaning yeah Good. choose for me <laughs> yeah exactly okay so allahumma khirli waqtarli and uh, then we have some more uh, words over here if you uh, remain some brain cells during the week so i want you guys to do some homework so do sarf tawir and sarf kabir of uh, how many uh, words you can do maybe you can choose two or three a day and just try them and if you, uh, writing is the best way to remember but uh, maybe you can write one and rest you can just do orally but we need to be in the habit of writing uh, uh, the conjugation this is the only way we are going to be strong in it so there is no shortcut you know like in mathematics we need to write the formulas we need to be in practice so this is how a conjugation works last week's homework i did sister you did you need to share so you you can embarrass other people who didn't do that. <laughs> i know <laughs> i don't want to do that <laughs> no then don't don't share sister zora there will be no, embarrassment you sure. have to you have to <laughs> so just share in the main group please okay <laughs> no <laughs> yeah okay. oh, sister i just recently heard that hadith he was doing in a hadith class in the mal amal bin niyat i mean this is the hadith that we know from day one without even having any knowledge of quran that time so mm-hmm. i mean i was just shocked to see like just like you said a bias the people you just said out of joke but then mm-hmm. if your intention is for anyone other than allah so you mm-hmm. lose the reward plus you are <laughs> sinful I mean no I you, you are no, no. okay you can look in other way you are going to share your uh, homework and yeah. it is going to make other people motivate that yeah, there you go he can Just do the intention yeah he can do it i can yeah. do it and this is yeah. how it works in so yeah. yeah just okay. intention yeah yeah I'm exactly sure So That's your intention. Allah, may Allah keep our intention straight and uh, only sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there are always other ways. You know that mm-hmm. uh, charity, we are supposed to give it quietly. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. With the mm-hmm. other hand, even should not uh, uh, know about it. But in quran e it says that if you tell, like if you just... Uh, Uh, make it uh, obvious to the others it is fine it yeah, is sirr al waqlaniyat yeah that ali imran right no surah baqara sirr al waqlaniyat in surah baqara it says so what is the reason behind to motivate other people yeah it's so, it's all by intention and your intention get contaminated very intention. fast intention. like riya kicks in very fast right you know yeah. fast comes in to so just have to purify like every time every minute your intention has to be with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to get any reward from anyone or you know get the highest status being a teacher you know there's so much into it exactly. so i was like oh my gosh you know it is so important <laughs> because you're sinful if your intention get changed that you're That's doing good. we are just to please people not allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
So I said, wow. Yeah, so this this is so scary. Very you know, scary. Uh, I, it sometimes make me cry. Very that meaningful. Very come, meaningful. People yeah. will come with the mountains of good deeds. Yeah. But they will left with nothing. Yeah. So that is the reason because their intention yeah. was not uh, good. And you know, yeah. some start something with a good intention, but in the like uh, in the uh, when you get start getting praise about it so it kind of corrupt because shaitan is there right so mm. it kind of corrupt your uh, intention but uh, yeah. we, we can always uh, ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah and he keep our intentions straight i mean just yeah, we just have to be scary, mindful so. yeah very be mindful and then there's one thing I heard was very beautiful in a, in a lecture. He said that Imam Shafi's student, he, he advised his student and he said, even if you're going to open the door for somebody, before you open the door, make an intention that if there's a beggar behind the door, I'm going to give the sadqa. And if it's a guest, like my relatives, I invite them and then, you know, get, do the hospitality with them. So even just with the intention, Allah will give you reward of sadqa, even you don't know who is behind the door. So I said, in our time, we can say, before I pick up the phone, okay, uh -huh. this is the needs me, I have intention to help her. So even if she's not picking, calling uh -huh. you, even just uh -huh. calling you to invite her house, but you have intention that uh -huh. if she's in a trouble, she needs me, I'm here. So, so you far. get the sawab of intention. SubhanAllah, our deen is so beautiful. Yeah, we exactly. just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful for so merciful. Subhanallah, subhanallah, very true. Very true. Yeah. Jazakallah khair for sharing. And Alhamdulillah, is... I was inspired, so I thought, you know, inshallah, but in the Anasiya. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So inshallah, we we are going to end our session with it. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Hakim wa nafani wa iyaakum bi ayati wa zikri al-Hakim subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadun la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.